My wardrobe makes no sense. Half of my clothes don't fit me correctly. My hoodies are too big. And I'm wearing a FaZe hoodie with a TSM jersey on. I'm pretty annoyed with like everything. Like already this year, I think I missed like two or three days, something like that uh, of uploading when I would usually be uploading. Like <laughs> there was a period of time where I uploaded for like two years straight. I mean, to be fair, I really didn't do anything else. Now that I don't have all of this stuff and all this stuff that I didn't usually need to deal with, now I need to deal with it because I have the free time and everybody knows. I had to do all this shit last night and now the weekend coming up this Saturday? or Sunday. All this shit will finally be done and then like the houses and all that stuff is next. It's, it's just a lot of stress. Once I got finished with everything, obviously I didn't have any time left. So I was just sitting there. I was like, so like eh, maybe I could just like try to hit some clips or whatever. Try and at least use a little bit of this double XP. And I think I only got like what 20 or 40 levels or something on double XP, which is actually embarrassing. Like on double XP, if you play all day, you can get like at least a prestige a day. Like it is so easy. I mean, you got to play for like a few hours, but my problem was I would play for the double XP and I would be using like a Barrett and all this other shit just so I could basically drop as many kills as possible to get as much XP as possible. But then I just started getting really fucking annoyed. So the way that some of these lobbies are is just, it's horrible. If you want to get as many kills as possible and as much XP as possible, you know, playing solo anyway, you would be playing ground war. Not just like 6v6 or anything like that. Just because you can kill more people, meaning you just get more XP. People play like such scumbags. If I don't hit anything within the first hour of me playing, I'm not playing the rest of the night because it's just, it's only going to piss me off and it never gets better. Or if you find that one good lobby, some bullshit happens where everybody leaves and then the rest of the people that are playing really shitty just end up joining and it just ruins everything. KSI bought a really nice Rolex. Oh, that's what everybody's telling me is really nice. There's a bunch of diamonds on it, so I guess it, it costs a lot. I don't fucking know. I told him if it doesn't transform into a Lambo or do some neat shit besides tell time, then I'm gonna be disappointed. I used to wear a watch when I was like 10. It's like a plastic watch that I got from Burger King. Maybe watches just aren't my thing. I have very frail wrists, so I can't imagine uh, putting about, I'd say 20 pounds of diamonds on my wrist. Nope, probably wouldn't be good for my joints. There's this Arctic Wolf camo that it really just looks like a blue or neon tiger to me. Don't really think I like it. So I made a video a week ago called Phase 5, um, and it was basically talking about how, like, a bunch of people started this hashtag for Phase 5, and then Rain responded to it, like, confirming the rumors or whatever. It wasn't even, like, rumors. Like, these guys just spammed the hashtag, and then Rain was just like, yeah, well, we hear you. And that's kind of where it became a rumor. But I think it was yesterday or two days ago, Apex ended up confirming that there will be a Phase 5, and I'm assuming that's gonna be in the summer. He didn't give, like, a time frame or anything like that, or how long it would last, or when it's gonna be happening. But I feel like for most people, during the summer, would probably be best since like most people are off and they have time to grind it out or whatever it is that they got to do grind out their videos it's usually since it's the summer everybody has more time and they just you know be sitting down playing call of duty all day with a phase five hashtag and you try to hit as many clips as you can and then you submit your shit and then you know eventually you get some hype off of it and you could potentially join even the people that didn't end up winning in phase five ended up growing a lot from it at least from like a call of duty clip standpoint which really i mean in comparison to like the big picture really isn't that much but apex said that it's not gonna be like that it's not gonna be like hey put some clan tags in and then just uh, you know hit some clips and then boom you're you know whatever it's gonna be more I i'm assuming content based and uh like he said there is going to be call of duty players recruited like for sure but he wasn't exactly clear on how exactly he would recruit those players then if it wasn't done that way maybe the phase five will be exclusively for content creators and then we're just gonna recruit some call of duty players before i i don't know maybe there's gonna be two separate challenges uh, maybe i don't fucking know he did say it's not gonna be just the whole clan tag thing so maybe it'll still be the clan tag thing for you know those guys and then like content content creators they just gotta like go onto your channel review it and all this other shit i don't know because like see the last phase five that we did we did like uh the thing where we kind of wanted like a person that was kind of like the whole full package i was the first person to join the team that was quote the full package i mean don't want to sound like i'm gloating or something like that but like i hit clips and then i made like content like this right which was new at the time it's pretty played out now 14 and 17 i, I don't fucking care but see the thing is about phase and when you go through all of this shit to recruit people you spend like months on this challenge recruit people and now looking at it what we only have dirty left from the recruitment challenge of the five people that were recruited obviously some people aren't in a team anymore for like other reasons they're not just like kicked because like they just stopped playing or whatever but the problem with joining phase and being in phase and recruiting people is that it, it, it's kind of like it, it's giving people an opportunity and if they don't use the opportunity to its fullest then it, there was somebody else that could have been in their place to actually use it's kind of similar to when i was like in darth and tk and i felt like i wasn't doing shit so i just left because i felt like i was taking up a spot for somebody that could actually be doing something with it it's similar to that imagine if those four other people that were recruited before were still in the team still producing content it would be much bigger now right or if those four were replaced by you know four other people that thought they could have done more with it it's difficult to spend that much time on recruiting people and it's kind of it's scary because you can't just keep recruiting people left and right so i could completely understand why they haven't been recruiting people that much like it's completely understandable for some reason in the call of duty community it's a little difficult
difficult to find somebody that grinds on the normal basis that hasn't quit like multiple times beforehand because that's just like really alarming somebody has a history of like quitting or like not posting to their channel for like months at a time or some shit like that then it's like hurts their chances of like joining the team obviously i was about to say something and now i forgot but you see what i mean in the last phase five they had people uh i think like do a whole bunch of like montages and shit like that to show that they can play call of duty they can hit clips they can do all this stuff which at the time like you know allowed people to grow a lot not so much anymore just because call of duty struggling and then they had them do this content based thing where they make like a some sort of skit or something like creative and not just like a call of duty montage and some people killed it that's why like dirty one like his thing was like uh i think it was this call of duty addiction or some shit like that you can look up dirty's phase five videos and shit like they were super good but the thing is is that it kind of forced people to do content based things that they don't really want to do you know like if somebody just wants to sit around and play call of duty then you know that let them just play call of duty you know what i mean like they don't need to like make some sort of skit you know what i mean they don't need to be like that versatile or anything like that they want to play call of duty and make bond dodges just you know let them do them grind and shit but let them contribute to team dodges and that's it some people are just a classic grinder forcing them into really weird positions is just it just doesn't really work it's not that those videos that are produced are bad it's just it's not their thing you know see my thing was just like talking and raging and just you know story time and just talking being like a personality to the point to where when i did you know produce mini dodges and shit people were just kind of like why like just why it would be the same exact way for someone that would just like post you know montages and shit on a normal basis and all of a sudden you know here's a skit i don't really know where i'm going with this i'm just kind of theory crafting about like how they're gonna do this exactly the thing that happens a lot is that people set a goal in their mind and then they achieve that goal and then they have nothing after that like they don't know what to do afterwards and what happens is is that like say your goal is to join phase and then you join phase and then you got nothing else that you're working for like it sounds like common sense like yeah i want to join phase so i can grow more and shit and have my content reach more people and i grow and then live you know the usual youtube dream whether that's making montages for your channel for a living or you know just making your own videos talking about shit or a combination of both the problem is that some people when they reach a certain goal like joining phase they don't know what to do afterwards they just don't know they don't have anything set afterwards and another thing is that people end up quitting and then uh they like go away for like a whole year and then phase five comes along and then all of a sudden they become active again and they say oh i'm returning back for this challenge or whatever like this is all or nothing for me and although it's really cool to see these players come back it's discouraging like as a team to pick up somebody that quits when things aren't working out the problem is that it doesn't really show that you love it it just shows that you want to join this team bad enough to come back but you didn't love it enough to keep doing it when you know it wasn't giving you exactly what you wanted and i feel like they really want to recruit people that love doing what they're doing i know it might sound like really harsh and almost ignorant for me to say it like that but i would say a tip for phase five even though i didn't win phase five or whatever i ended up joining before phase five started they recruited me right before the challenge they even asked me if i was gonna you know do the challenge if they made me go through it and i was just like nope i ain't going through the challenge i'll keep doing my own thing i was growing fine on my own i got to like 30,000 subscribers by myself i had like a whole bunch of new people coming to my channel on normal base i was just gonna do my own thing if i didn't join i think my number one piece of advice here is that really consider if you love doing youtube like if you really love making videos and you're not just in love with the idea of it i know that sounds really corny but there is a difference i don't want to make it sound really dramatic like some crazy life-changing thing but it genuinely like joining phase did change my life so i don't want to it may sound like i'm exaggerating but i'm really not without phase i wouldn't be where i'm at at all i damn sure would have made my dream come true to basically play video games every single day and basically just never grow up that's all i wanted to do i have played video games for my entire life i've been addicted to video games for my entire life so as soon as i heard of a way to be able to play video games and still be able to pay bills i did that and phase gave me the opportunity to make it more possible than i ever thought it was so my number one tip for doing it if you really want to join start uploading videos now start making your best videos that you can now and even if you don't join the people like i said the people that didn't even win still ended up getting uh you know a lot of traffic on their channels because they start gathering some hype from oh this guy did you see this guy's video i think he deserves it i think this guy deserves to be in the top 100 or top 20 a whole bunch of people grew because of this whole thing so i don't know if they're still gonna do like you know the top 100 top 20 top 5 the way that they did it before I'm just trying to speak from the prior experience to you know the other recruitment challenges the other phase fives that's what i recommend it sounds really corny and general but they want to recruit people that love doing this not people that one day could just wake up and be like ah i quit i have never once thought about quitting youtube and for years years i made videos without even being able to pay my fucking phone bill multiple videos over a couple years asking for 15 likes 10 likes one of them being myself and eight of the other ones are my friends i tried my hardest and every single day i would wake up and think about it at first when i uploaded videos i didn't have like the face cam and all that other stuff people didn't really know what i looked like or whatever and then i finally did like the first kind of vlog thing where people saw me uh, and i started doing the face cams things that's when i started posting more consistently and people started supporting me like instead of getting 10 likes i started getting 15 and that's just what kept me going i don't know it's just what kept me going and on days 
where, you know, I would usually get 10, I would get three likes and stuff and it would be discouraging, but I would just post the next day like, okay, this one will be better. I don't mean to make it sound super corny. I know it sounds so corny, but just seriously, once you do achieve that goal, have something else afterwards, what you're going to do in mind. Okay. Once I join phase, I'm going to do what? Once I reach this milestone, I'm going to do what? Just constantly have a goal set right now. My goal is to diversify my content more and not feel like I'm restricted to one game. It's a mental block for me. And I'm hoping to be able to just implement more games into my videos. That's my goal. As soon as I saw the support from the for honor video, even if I'm not going to constantly make for honor videos or something like that, even if it's just like a one-time video, that's my goal. And then after I'm happy with how my channel is, then I set the next goal. Even if you don't win this challenge, even if your channel isn't huge, even if you get zero fucking views a video, if you love doing it, keep going. Obviously don't drop out of school for it. Or in my case, quit your job. <laughs> it's a very large risk that sometimes can backfire, but love doing it. Okay. So I'm just going to end it right there. I'm just going to keep repeating myself. I feel like that's how I joined phase. My content was unique at the time. They saw that I was grinding and I uploaded consistently. And that's just, that's how I joined phase. It came to me. I talked to them here and there, like in DMs and stuff. Got a couple messages back and forth, a couple tweets from Apex saying, keep it up. And this is just a general thing. Even if you don't want to join phase, even if you're not going for the challenge, even if you're completely uninterested in anything, any goal, even if it takes fucking years, even if you feel like you don't have that time, it will happen. I'm not the most motivational person in the world. I mean, I just sit around and play video games all day, but shut the fuck up. Those are my tips for phase five. That's how I joined phase. If there's anything else that I could talk about, I'll make another Call of Duty video. If not, I might play Neo. I'm not sure. I don't really know if I'm in the mood to get really angry. I mean, I play Call of Duty every day, so I mean, I willingly get pissed off. Oh no, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here, and uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.